All right, let's go with step number 51 here, where we need to add another divider after our P element. So I'm just going to copy. Remember, copy your own code is OK, but copy other people's code? No, no. Control and enter. And there we go. Submit and on to the next one. After your last divider, create a new P element with cholesterol 0mg 0%. Cholesterol in a bold span and 0% in a bold right span. So that's a lot like this P tag up here. I'm going to copy that and paste. And I'm going to change saturated fat. And I'm going to change that to say cholesterol 0mg. Copy. Paste. And 0% is going to go over here where 5% was. Paste. And we have a problem. Your new pay element should have two span classes. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What have I done? I've copied the wrong one completely. Okay. No worries. Let's, let's go back here a little bit. I've copied the wrong one. Did I? P span. Okay. This one. Copy. Yes. Come down here. Paste. This is the problem when you're copying. You don't know if you're going to do it right. Okay, and the first span is going to say cholesterol. Okay, copy. So the first span is going to say cholesterol. Then it's going to say 0G. And then it's going to uh, 0MG. And then it's going to say 0%. So let's, let's do this here. And hopefully now we should be okay. And we are. Okay, amazing. On we go to the next one. After your last P element, create another P element. Text sodium 167%. Sodium in a span with bold. 7% in another span. Okay, so we're going to copy this line again. Copy. Control Z. Control C. Control Z. <laughs> Control V. Okay. The first word is going to say sodium. S-O-D-I-U-M. Na, a bit of salt, 160 milligrams. That seems like a lot of salt, but I don't know much about these things. And it's going to be 7%. Okay, and it's looking fantastic. Excellent. And we have another one. Type 4, use span to make total carbohydrate bold. Okay. So once more, we're going to come down to the bottom here. Paste. I'm going to change this to say total carbohydrate we're going to say 37 grams 37 grams of carbohydrates and then 13 percent carbohydrates are like potatoes and stuff right okay let's see if we've got that right we have indeed now we'll below your last p element create another one with dietary fiber 4g Give it the class necessary to indent it and remove the dividing border. So it's, it's this one. We have indent, no divider. Copy. Down here. And you can see now I'm just going to make the HTML window a bit wider so that you guys can see a little bit better. We're not going to go on to a, a new line. I'm going to paste this. So we have class indent, no divider. And we want this to say dietary fiber 4G. So I'm going to copy that. Copy. We don't need the italics tag, so we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to paste. And we need to put a divider under it. So I'm going to copy my divider. You can see now that we've set up all of those classes, and we have a bit of code behind us, we can move really quickly through adding new items. Once the CSS is there, then it's no problem. Okay, on to the next challenge. 56. Create another P element. Give it the text total sugars. Give that P element class values to indent it and remove the bottom border, then add another border underneath. Okay. So I'm going to copy these two lines. Copy. Paste. And it's going to say total sugars 12G. 
There it goes, looking fantastic. 56. And now 57. The advantage creating those dividers, you can apply specific classes to style them individually. Add double indent to the class for your last divider. Okay, so we want double dbl dash indent. So we have a new class now. And I guess we're going to go into CSS and we're going to target. And we're going to give it a margin of 2em. Okay, dot dbl dash indent squirrely brackets. And we're going to say margin left. And we're going to say 2em semicolon. And that's going to push it in a little bit more to the right. Lower your double indent element, add a new P element when text includes 10 Gs, added sugars, 20%. Your new P element should also be double L indented and have no bottom border. Use a span to make the 20% bold and right aligned and then create another divider after that P element. Wow, what a complex step. But we're not afraid of that. We're going to read it slowly and carefully and work our way through the problem. So a new P element, that's our first step. New P element should be double intended, indented. So we're going to give it a class of uh, DBL dash indent. That is our class that does double indenting and have no bottom border. So which one gives us no bottom border? I think it is no dash divider. Okay. Now that that's our P tag and our classes, the text should say includes 10 grams and sugars of 20%. I copy that text and paste and close my P tag. But now use a span to make the 20% bold and right aligned. So span class equals bold right. And close our span as well. And let me just resize the window to make sure I'm happy with that. I think I am. And we have a problem. You should create a new P and div element. Oh, we do. We need a new divider uh, that is under that P element. So we need a new divider. Does the divider need to be double indented or no? Let's Oh, sorry there. Uh, let's 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 go with no. So under this, add a new div. Okay, and yes. So we needed a full width divider. After your last divider, create another p element with the text protein three grams. Use necessary classes to remove the bottom border and a span to make the protein bold. Following this element, create a large divider. Okay. Another P element, P, and we're going to remove a bottom border. So we're going to say class equals no divider and okay, that's it. That's our only class. The text is going to say protein 3G and then we're going to close our P tag. And we're going to use a span to make protein bold. So span class equals bold. And then we close our span after the word protein, S-P-A-N. Sounds a lot more complicated than it is. Okay, and following this element, create a large divider. Our, lar our last time we used large divider was way up here under the header. I'm going to grab it. So I've forgotten what the class name is and the class name is divider space uh, divider and then LG. So let's see now. Wonderful. 61. Create another P element below your large divider. Give the P element the text vitamin D 2 micrograms 10% use span to make the 10% aligned to the right but do not make it bold. Okay. No problem. So let's go in here. Uh, P tag. We don't need any classes on this one. 
Um, we're going to copy this text, copy, paste. And you spend make 10% align to the right, but do not make it bold. Span class equals right. We don't want to make it bold. Close your quotation marks and close the span and close the P. Okay. We have passed 61. For 62, we're going to add the calcium, 260 micrograms. And then we're going to add the iron as well. Okay. So let's copy this two more times. One, two. And first of all, we want calcium 260 milligrams. Paste. And we want the 20% to go where the 10% was. So I'll just change that to 20. And then the iron 8 milligrams is the next one. Iron, 8 milligrams, or micrograms. Oh, milligrams, that seems like a lot of iron. And it is 45%. 45. Wonderful. 63. Create the final P element for your daily value section and give it the text potassium 235, 6%. Add the 6% text to the right and remove the bottom border of the P element. So we're getting to the end now. So now I'm going to copy one more time uh, just to save us a little bit of typing here today. But I'm going to give this P a class equals and we're going to say no dash divider. That's going to remove the bottom border. And then we're going to take our potassium 235 mg. Potassium comes from bananas, right? I love me some bananas in the morning. And we're going to set that to 6%. 6%. Roll and enter. And we have that one done as well. Now for step 64, we're going to add a medium divider after your daily value element. So our daily value element is all the way up here. This div here, line number 23. Let me resize the window so everything is clear. And now, because I've laid out my text properly, it's very easy to see where does that div end? It ends right here. So I'm going to add a medium divider. Let's find another medium divider we can use. So we have a normal divider. Here we go. We have a medium divider right here. That's going to go in here, I'm going to tab it in so it's directly under the last div. Now, below that divider, create a P with the class of note. Give the P the following text. Okay, P class equals note. And we're going to give it all of this text. Okay, so I've copied all of that text. And because it, it is a lot of text, I'm going to paste it onto a new line just so it's, it's clear for us what's, what's happening. Okay. Okay. And then close the P tag. And I'm going to do that under the other P tag. Close, P, close. And that's in line with the last div. Right. And I guess now we're going to be styling that. Set the font 0 0.6, bottom right margins 5 pixels, remove the left and right margins. Okay. Dot note, squirrely brackets. We're going to say font size, and we set that to 0 0.6 or EM. And we're going to say margin. And the margin is going to be 5 pixels. Zero. So that just gives it a little bit of space there at the bottom. Semicolon to close it off. We have passed. Step number 66, give it a left and right padding of eight pixels. Okay, padding. And remove top and bottom padding. So top and bottom is going to be zero. And then we have five pixels left and right. 
remember it goes clockwise right so top will be the first one and give it a text indent of minus eight text indent we've never used that one before and set to minus eight pixels here and we should be finished uh, it was a longer video for the last one as we made the final push towards the end there to step number six six let's see if it's worked no what have i done wrong oh my apologies the padding should be zero and then eight pixels but i said five pixels i got a little bit confused oh i was i was doing my victory lap already there we go zero and eight pixels and now we have indeed finished guys thank you so much for joining me with this challenge today next week we're going to be making the quiz which you can see in front of you right now if you've enjoyed the video hit me up with a like maybe a subscribe if i've helped you out drop some comments in below if you have any questions i i'm starting to feel we're building a really nice community here um and i'm so happy to be helping out so many of you as i said i only started this channel to help my students here in taiwan with their homework but the fact that so many of you are also enjoying or or getting some assistance from it it's really fantastic to see. I'll see you all next time.